Hello guys, welcome to Stories Untold. I'm uh I've Gab has been going on about this game for forever. Um it was actually we did uh, our annual Game Honey podcast uh show of the year recently and uh this uh, she was on there and this was in her top 5 games of the year uh that she played last year. So um I guess I'd better give it a try. Um so uh the house abandoned i know generally what it's about um very generally and i know that it's spoopy so and i know that i'm not great with spoopy games so we'll see uh, how this turns out we start off with stranger things The house abandoned. Stories untold. Lots of floating 80s stuff. And technology. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to like this, but here we are. Okay. It's five past ten. The house abandoned. Let's play a spoopy game. Interactive horror adventure. <laughs> That's intense. <laughs> That's a really intense sound. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Look in glove box. Glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from the, from Dad. Take them both. Uh, read note. Notice from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you're enjoying your break. You'll need to fire up the generator and back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. <laughs> Prince Edward to continue. Pull up to the driveway. Yes. It's dark. Yes. Can we... Yes, yes. Oh. Okay. Um. Enter. Home. Sorry, I don't understand. Look around. It's a nice, clean car. Get out of the car first. Let's see if there's a glove box. Get out of car you open the car door and step out the house is grand set perfectly among the amongst the trees in front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house uh go around house door appears to be locked you want to use a key use key you insert the key and turn the door clicks open Door lock clicks open. Um, enter house. Step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark, you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Um, click, flick, click, light switch. A click and nothing. There's no power. The note should say how to restore it. Yes. Uh, exit house. Step outside the front door. Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh. Go through that again. Go around house. So, yard. Enter yard. Take a walk around to the yard. Yard's been well maintained. You spend a lot of time there with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Um, enter house you walk back around to the front door no i don't want to house is grand god damn it i should do look around huh enter yard yes yes still five past ten good memories um look 
around. Is the generator? Yeah, okay. So you generate around the back wall of the house. Uh, start generator. Switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Enter house. You walk back around. Yes. Yes, yes. House is grand. Yes, yes. Okay. I never used to play... I've never played these games as a kid. So I might miss a thing or two. Enter house. You enter the house to the hallway. Yes. Uh, click switch. Click light switch. Flick the switch and the lights come on. Hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here as well as a set of stairs going up. Um, go up stairs because there was something in our room. You walk upstairs to the landing. Stairwell landing. It's a bathroom, two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Um, en enter my bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. It's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Take box. Sorry, I don't understand. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. Can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. Whatever. I don't know if that's a real thing. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. That's probably what we're playing right now. Press enter to continue. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus 2 computer and a copy of the House of Banana. It's all still to be set up, though. Set up game. Sorry, I don't understand. Play House Abandon. Don't know what you're trying to use. Use House Abandon. Don't know. Maybe use computer. Use computer. -ter. Start to plug in the various cables and leads. Computer's all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Use game. Put the cassette in the computer and press play. This is very meta. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay. Time reset. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Does it say get out? House abandoned. Oh, that's something that's got a fucking jump in my face, huh? Pull up the drive of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. Can't stand to be near this place. Check glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Use note. Don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car, get out the car. Jesus. <laughs> Press enter to continue. You pull up to the driveway. Yes. Okay, this is good. <laughs> oh, it's already getting. Okay, get out of car. C not card. You force the warped card. Oh, that worked. House looks abandoned. There's a yard to this side. Woods, woods, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There's no love here. Jesus Christ. Um, enter yard. Step through the debris to the backyard. Grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. Clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There's an old generator next to you. Use generator. Oh, <laughs> that got me. So much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, the eyes and the pictures have been crossed out. Oh man, this is not fun. <laughs> okay, enter house. House. You can go back to the front of the house. This looks abandoned. Yeah, use. I want to use the key. 
jump in my face. Use key. You unlock the door. Click of the lock hurts to hear. Um, enter house. You reluctantly step inside the front door. I don't like this. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. A note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Um, click light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. Lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. Stains and trails all over the carpet. Instead, Jesus Christ. Upstairs, sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. It can't be. Ah. Uh, ah, fuck. What? Um. Uh. Turn off alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. Jesus Christ. You can feel this panic set in. I certainly can. Still in the hallway. Noises stop. You feel present. Someone's in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent. Stairs leading up. No, it feels disgusting in your hands. Oh, I don't want to go up. <laughs> I don't want to go up. Um, enter kitchen. Go into the kitchen. Kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. Tabletops are rusted metal. There's a carcass on the table. It's writing on the wall. The utility room has a red X painted on it. Look around. Seems to be writing on the wall. Looks like blood. I don't like this at all. Um, carcass on the table. Writing on the wall. Enter utility room. Door is locked. Can't get in there. Not not yet. Okay. Exit kitchen. Step back into the hallway. Shoes are wet. Still in the hallway. Let's stop. You feel presence. Someone is in the house. Should not be here. I wonder if I'm a ghost or something. Um, enter living room. Enter living room. Living room, although hardly an appropriate term. Furniture is threadbare and worn. Note this fixed in your mind. Red fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Read note. What does it say? Note always changing. Now reads. Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Okay. Interesting. Now quiet is uh, trying to eat a cardboard box again. Exit room. Turn through the hallway. Clock now says 9999. There's nothing to it but to go up. Uh, go upstairs. Get up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. Landing has access to your system. Oh, Jesus Christ. Behind the door, phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Answer phone. You hear him answer the phone. It might hurt and you taste iron. Always spill out the phone to the room. Whoever's in there should not be in there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever you consider the worst. Hang up. Relief. Same but different. Jesus Christ. This is freaking me out. <laughs> oh, quiet. Don't do that. Oh, she's just being a bad girl. <sighs> Maybe I should just get this over with. Enter my room. Door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Thank God. Enter sister room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Enter bathroom. Enter the bathroom. Oh, four digit code. Would that be 9999? Bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Um, hold on. So, um, enter my room. So I don't understand. Exit room. Step back into the landing. 
I'm really fucking stressed out right now. Um, enter my room. Doors bolted shut. Four digit combination lock. Look around. Bare and worn. Fuzzes around the wall. Misaligned. Use lock. Grab the lock. Lock is rusted. Unless you're not using yours. Keen your hand weighs heavy. Note heavier. Grab lock and now input the code. Nine 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 nine. Get a working four-digit code. That's in the house somewhere. Okay, so that doesn't work. Read note. I was reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Get in. Do it. Go. Mm. What else? What have we missed? Uh, enter bathroom again. Get a working four-digit code. Uh, fuck. Well, how do we get out of here? Exit. Get off the lock. Oh, boy. Something different about them. Look around. Uh, look at picture. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. I wonder if that has anything to do with the, with the code. Um, enter hallway. Go back downstairs. Still in the hallway. No stop, you feel presence. Um, enter. <clears throat> uh, a read note. Can't read the note. It's bleeding. It's bleeding. And it was bleeding in the kitchen. Enter kitch, kitchen. Go into the kitchen. It stinks. It was completely yes, yes, yes. Why the fuck would you continue playing this for real? <laughs> uh, red X painted on it. Read note. Paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There's nothing for you here. Okay. Am I supposed to take that just like at face value then? Uh, examine door. Sorry, I don't understand. Use door. Door's locked. Can not get in there? Not yet. Fuck. Enter living room. Doesn't work from here. Exit. Shoes are wet. Somewhere there are four digits. It's not nine 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 nine. Uh, what am I missing? Enter bathroom. I already went in there. Read note. Possible to read due to the black oil that now covers it. Look around. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Use tap. Don't know what you are trying to use. Um. Use note. Oh. Use note. Yeah. Fuck. So what am I missing? Okay. Examine carcass. Use carcass. Read. Um, look around. Writing on the wall. Read, writing. Ah, Jesus Christ! Ugh, in blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Jesus. Oh, I've got literal goosebumps. <laughs> oh, that back in 1986. Shoes are wet. 
go upstairs. Oh, I don't want to. E go upstairs to where Norris came from, 1986. <sighs> Use, oh, come on. Use lock. Grab the lock. <sighs> the moment of truth. <clears throat> now I put the code 1986. Lock clicks open. Uh, enter my my god damn it no my room doors closed open open door you open the bedroom door hi oh enter my room to your bedroom bedroom feels utterly familiar walls are damp but you've been here before in front of you a lone person sits in front of a computer screen lamp is on the clock reads nine 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 Shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. Sorry, Jennifer. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. I haunt every you haunt every step I take, even in this place. It's out of my hands, but I but still you punish me. Can't be with you now. Press enter to continue. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End it. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was my f fault oh please stop no it was all my fault say it it was all my fault finally someone's breathing in my ear oh Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was intense. Boy. Oh. Goosebumps all over. Oh, my man. Oof. Okay. The house abandoned. That's some intense shit. Okay. Um, so I guess... I guess the main character killed his family? Or saw his family get killed and didn't do anything about it or something? Is what I'm taking away from this? Oh, I was too stressed to... <laughs> Phew. All right. Well, that was it was really good. That's how you build fucking tension. Holy shit. I was expecting something to jump in my face at the end there, but I'm glad it didn't because this felt like a way better. I don't know. It, it felt really good. It felt really fucking terrifying, but it was really good. All right. Well, I'll cut it here. Thank you guys for uh, watching me squirm. <laughs> And uh, hope to see you guys on the next installment of a game that is going to make me poop my pants. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. And bye-bye.